first batch of coffee I ever roasted was in uh, 1989 in, in San Francisco with a really small, small roaster uh, that did about five pounds at a time. Roasting is one of the things I, I really enjoy most. It's like cooking. You get to start with great raw ingredients and come out with something that uh, ends up as a great coffee blend or a single origin coffee. And that's what we're roasting today. Hi there, today we're gonna roast some coffee and I'm excited about it because I've got some delicious coffee in here. We're gonna transform from green coffee into beautiful roasted coffee. All right, that was about 19 pounds of green coffee going in and after we finish the roasting process, it'll turn into about 15 pounds because we have a little shrinkage occurring from the green to the roasted. But we have now just dropped the load of coffee. This is where all the alchemy and magic of roasting occurs inside this drum. But you're gonna hear the sounds of the coffee popping, not once, but twice during its development, which is super cool. It expands, it's almost like popcorn. You hear this dramatic noise and flavors being developed. The coffee is turning from a green color all the way to kind of a shiny chestnut brown. And that's when the coffee gets good. I'm gonna check the color here just to give you a sense of what it looks like. And that's pretty green right there. Each roast takes approximately 13 minutes from start to finish. The real important part of this, well, it's all important, but the real important part is the way in which you're developing flavor and the time. It has to be kind of a, uh, a slope up like this. And then when you finish, you're gonna kind of plateau at a, at a certain temperature, about 420, 430 degrees, depending on which, which roast you're doing. Today, we're doing a blend, has three coffees in it, uh, two from Latin America, one from Indonesia. And uh, we're gonna do this kind of a, a, what's called a full city roast. This one is, is leaning towards the dark side, but, uh, but not a French roast or anything quite as dark as that. I hate to use the analogy of barbecuing, but if you roast the coffee too fast, too hot, you will burn it. And as a result of that, uh, too much heat doesn't cook all the way through. And the coffee beans need to be roasted evenly from the core all the way to the outside, giving a, a great complete reaction. Let's see where we are here. All right, not super exciting, but getting there, a little bit a little bit of tan showing. It sounds crazy, but you can actually smell a little bit of the producing country and what the characteristics are just by standing in front of the roasters. This blend has three origins in it, and I can almost smell a little bit of the chocolatey notes that come from the Guatemala just by standing here. And it's not even done yet, it's super cool. So what's light roast? What's medium roast? What's dark roast? These are terms that are really all over the industry. Roasting is highly subjective. There's no right way to roast or wrong way to roast. The best thing is to use high quality green coffee grown at the highest altitude, which is where specialty coffee lives and take the utmost care in, in each step of the process. So for us, that's in tasting the initial coffee, it's in roasting and delivering and packaging fresh coffee to our customers. Yeah, it's starting to look super cool. Nice color there, and the aromas are amazing. Yeah, it smells great. All right, we've started to pop here. We're getting in the last section of the roast here where uh, the magic really happens. We're gonna empty what's in the inside of, of the drum into the cooling tray. You're gonna see a lot of smoke and popping, and uh, for us, that's kind of like the most important moment of the roast when you're when you're bringing it all out and you can get that amazing aroma of, of smoke and, and roasted coffee flavor coming through your nose. You might be able to hear the cooling fan and that's gonna help us bring the coffee down to temperature once we discharge the batch. All right, here we go, you ready? So any given day, we could roast between you know five and 50 batches of coffee on this particular roaster. It only does 15 pounds at a batch, so it gives us a lot of control and a lot of flexibility in terms of how much we're gonna produce in a, in a given day. So that's our first roast. Hope you enjoyed it.